Welcome to In Hindsight, where we showcase local New Mexico. We debate on the hot topics in Are You the Ejo? I'm your host, Day. I'm a co-host, Dina. And I'm a co-host, Angie Ashley, with Spike Jackson. As one of our mascots now. That's included with Rito and Octo. So um, I'm not quite sure because like, you know, usually around holiday times, parents are like scrambling to find like things to do for their kids, <laughs> <laughs> right? Because it's just like, oh no, get out of my house. Like this is pretty much my sister. I'm like, my kids are like in my house way too much. They need to go somewhere. So um, I've never done escape rooms before, but a friend of mine is actually obsessed with them. And when I mean obsessed, She's done all the four ones, and she's about to finish this specific one, the New Mexico escape room. So, like, literally last night, we did two. That's how obsessed she is. How fun. Yeah. Did you make it out? We made In it time. every single, like, I've done it three times already, and I made it every single time. Awesome. Yeah, so, because, like, I, I've always been a little bit more hesitant about escape room, because I'm not a puzzle person. I get, like... I get frustrated when I can't figure out things. Mm -hmm. So, because I'm like, ah, you know, because I'm like, like, why didn't I see this? Or why didn't I get these clues? Like that kind of thing. I'm not, I never like riddles. I never like puzzles. So when my friend invited me last week, I was like, you know what? I want to go with you guys because you guys are like expert. So she said that um, around COVID time, all the escape rooms were open because there were mind gyms. Mm, what a mind gym yeah so so like anyways like yeah so like and they also like they they clean in between and also oh. like you have to be <coughs> with your group anyway so you are technically could you like the virus is concealed in your room so they clean it after like every group that comes in mm -hmm. so they said like she said that's like that's all we did because they were open wow. and now that. Yeah, and she's like, now I'm obsessed with it. So, like, the first time I did it last week with them, we did Bombshell. And it's like a mafia boss type thing. And, like, you know, I don't want to give away too much stuff. But it was really cool because, like, once you, like, do the clues, you'll see, like, drawers open, rooms open. It's, like, really, really neat. But I think, like, if I went by myself with my husband, we would have been, like, both frustrated because like we, we you don't know what you're getting into because like they do give you hints but I think like depending on the escape room some of them are digital mm -hmm. but like sometimes the hints are like the things that you already seen it, you see this <laughs> I have no idea what this is but I want to <laughs> learn what an escape room no, is I've never, I've yeah, never even heard of it yeah. to get out that, that like, sounds yeah. like amazing fun. like there's a lock on the door but where do you find the, the yeah. combination so you gotta oh, yeah. look and maybe on the wall there's mm -hmm. like some dates uh -huh. yeah. so you gotta associate the it's dates like a, and yeah. then try it and, and then the clues and then things mm -hmm. would like open and then they'll let you know when like it is real because like I never I like I said it's like I always like get intimidated because I'm like ah but like her What's and this place called um it's it's escape room so they That's have it. yeah escape room. yeah so if you Ooh. if you just literally go to your Google Maps or just Google escape room Albuquerque I know there's like around at least four there's one in Coronado Mall um there's one called Bust Out in the New Mexico and there's another one but the one that we've been going to is the New Mexico Albuquerque so like I'm gonna try to like knock them all out before I go to the other ones. But it's nice to have them because like they kind of like guided me, you know, like, you know, because I didn't know what to look for. Right. You know what I mean? Like they're just like, you know, take that sheet off and then, you know, try to see all the numbers. There's some clues here or whatever. I mean, I was happy that I was actually like contributed because, you know, like, because I didn't think that I was because I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I was just like, um, I think like these things are supposed to be here. And they were like, no, that's too simple. But we'll, we'll try it anyway because it's not working. And they're like, oh, it worked. Okay. So I'm just like, oh, okay, I did know something. So, but like, it's really fun. And then yesterday we did the dual Western County, like country thing. Mm -hmm. That was also A fun. Western? Yeah. Ooh. That sounds neat. Yeah. Yes. And then the last one we did like a superhero type escape room. 
-hmm. And that was just also interesting. What took us forever is the laser, because I don't want to give anything away, but you have to do something with lasers. And all of us are just like, how are we going to do this? Because <laughs> well, the thing also is like on the rooms, you have to have at least three to four people. Mm -hmm. Because like there were parts where like we had to all touch something. And it's like, how, how are you going to be in like three different places? You can't. Right. If there's only two of you. Right. There's one place in Albuquerque that lets you do two people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I don't like, because there was like the, um, the guy who is Ivan. He's amazing. Um, he, he pretty much told us that like, I've seen like, you know, I've seen a group of two in this room once he said, and they made it work. And I don't even know how they made it work, but they did. But it was like, there were only the only two because my friend wants to do the Nefertiti, like the Egyptian style one. Mm. But they told us that you definitely have to do at least four people because you have to be in like separate places and you have to have enough people to fill them. Mm -hmm. But it is really cool because like, I mean, technically, if you don't finish it, they don't, they don't take you hostage. That's the same thing they literally said. It's just like, you know, we're not taking you hostage. We're kind of closing this door, closing the door. But, you know, so like on the bombshell, it was kind of neat because they have a telephone. So you can ring it to, you get like three different hints. Mm -hmm. So like, or if they feel like you're getting close and you're not quite hitting it, they will ring the phone and let us know like, oh, you guys are kind of close. Maybe you should like look on your left. Not like literally cool. giving us like, you know, the clues or anything, but like kind of like, Just you a know, little hint. Yeah, like a little, a little you know, tiny maybe. help. Yeah, exactly. And like the Western one was a little bit harder because they had to like, not come in the room because they had like the swinging door. They had to like kind of peek in because mm -hmm. you know you can't have phones because you know it's Western. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just like, can you do like a smoke signal or a pigeon something, you know? So mm. it, it was really nice. And then the the superhero one is like all like technic like it's all like computers and tech. So they had like oh. a little robot that Mouth. would give you hints. But it it was really fun. I think the kids would love that yeah, because they like because you get like little items that you have to collect and then. You have like you send things into this thing up, so I mean it's like it's it's really cool. I never really thought I would be into it, mm -hmm. and then now we've decided it's a Thursday thing. And Gotta it's do it. Just and it's, have to, yeah, yeah, and it's only like twenty five dollars per person. No, that's not too bad at all. That's not bad at all. No. I mean, movies sometimes get more expensive than that. Oh yeah. And the fact that like you get your like children and your friends entertained for like an hour. I mean, sold. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, I mean, we do it on Thursdays because, like, we get to go in earlier because there's not a lot of people there. So if there's nobody in that room, we get to go earlier. And we've just been lucky that, like, there's really not a lot of people on Thursdays. But they said on, I'm going today with my little, not mine, I'm kidnapping. Well, it's not kidnapped. <laughs> Their parents knows. But, like, I'm going with my husband. It's, it's the first time. So, like, I decided to do the one that I did first because mm -hmm. just like kind of like nudge them a little bit and like help them because I think if all five of us are going to a room we've never been before we're just going to be like looking at each other and be like how do we solve this you know right <laughs> that's the fun yeah but no it was it was like really it was actually like really really fun you've been I, I've been once okay now another another thing that we got to do on the list okay. yes Escape I've room. never nope mm -mm. god I feel really bad now no, because like now, <laughs> like that's the thing. It's just like you don't think like you'll experience something new. Because like, let's face it, like I'm 41 and I felt like I've done a lot of stuff. Yeah, I've traveled and been to Europe and Asia and New Zealand and all this stuff. And then mm. like that, that first time feeling of doing something right. is exciting because, you know, you're just like, oh, yeah, like I, it is new. Like I can experience something new even though like I'm already 41. Yeah. You know, you think like, you know. Because, you, you know, when you're a kid or when you're a teen, you look at, like, your older, you know, parents and aunts and, you know, you look at them and you're like, I don't want to be old. They do nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. like, the fact that, like, I get to, like, Sorry. also not just find ideas when, like, my nephews or my god kids or, like, my friends' kids when I take them, like, ideas for them. But it's also fun for me. It's like a win-win. It's not really babysitting because I want to do it. Right. right. You know? So, and like I said, it's just like, especially on the holidays, 
and the parents because like you can just like literally drop them off because there's one in the mall and go shopping drop them off let them figure it out for How an hour old really yeah because i think like if you sign the waiver I think like under sure. 13, they probably Lock won't. Lock the but kids think, in there and let them find their way out. Yeah. We've played that at home. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> but like, you know, like especially like teenagers, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think like, I think it's like, it's really cool to have like something interactive. And like the fact that like they have so many different ones. Because like my friend, she's more tactical. She likes like touching things and mm -hmm. like some of them are, are digital. So like mm -hmm. she's, she's not a big fan of that. But she's actually enjoying the ones that we've done that are like, digital mm -hmm. and like even she said it's just like oh i hated this but like now this is actually kind of fun yeah you know and like i said it's just like it's a fun activity because like you don't have to repeat yourself can we go for two hours i mean you can do two hours but you have to do like different rooms okay because you only have an hour mm -hmm. time limit on every room but i'm just saying it would be so much fun i would i would be into that yeah. That is seriously one thing I would do. Yeah. You make it sound like a lot of fun. No, I'm going to try that one for sure. No, it's just I didn't know like I would be into it till like I actually did it. And I'm just like, okay, <coughs> I get like why people are into it right now. Right. Because, you know, it's just like, because like it is like it is really nice because like you're not just like fiddling by yourself. Like, oh, I can't. like they, they do give you hints and they do nudge you you know, a little bit to like, because like some of the rooms, they have like speakers. Because like they also watch you to make sure like, oh, okay, they're kind of, because like there are, there were parts where like we were kind of fumbling. Mm -hmm. But once we got like that thing done, we figured out it was just like right away. And doesn't that feel so good? Yeah. And like the thing is like, I don't know. we still have like 17 minutes left. We could have like got out really early. Mm. And that's what took us. I mean, mm. every time we got out, like at least three minutes on the time. That's nice. Yeah. Because it's just like really cool. You feel like, oh, I accomplished something. Hell yeah. That, <laughs> yeah. That's always a good feeling. Yeah. Though my friend did say that like you have to bring the right people. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you can't have like a lot of like strong personalities because you do have to coordinate as a group. And like I am like really good at like assisting or like if I think like something, you know, I'm not like, we'll do this. You know, I'm more of like, well, why don't we try this? Maybe this would work. Because, you know, you can't just, like, you also, like, can't be looking at the time all the time because then it'll just stress you out. And, all we, like, when you're in an escape room, you really have to push all the buttons. That's a fun thing about it. You have to touch everything. Things that, like, you're not supposed to do in other places, you know, like, and it's funny because they'll tell you, it's like, you know how, like, your parents tell you not to touch the buttons? In this room, touch all the buttons, you know, because that mm -hmm. button might, like, be the one that you need. And it's, right. like, it is really fun. And then you get to, like, decipher codes and like like we had to like collect different comic books to push them all the pages together mm -hmm. so that was like it was like really really interesting and like i don't doubt like they'll they usually have like group rates too so okay. i think if you have like six or more people or like like last night because we did two on the second one they just gave us a 10 percent off cool nice. yeah and it's sometimes like not all the time but sometimes it's also your first time they will give you like a 10% coupon to like bring your friends or like, you know, do it again. And I think like that's like a good way, you know what I mean? To, like, I didn't even know this existed. I'm telling everybody that I know. Yeah. I'm going. It's, I want to do this. It's really fun. And that's why like I, that that's why like I did two yesterday and I'm doing one today. And my husband's like, are you going to be okay? And I'm just like, no, I like it. It's so fun. I'm addicted. Day is an escape, escape room. An yeah. escape No, it's just, just fun. Just lock her in places and yeah. she can find her way out. Yeah. It's just Literally. fun to learn, like, new adventures. You know what I mean? That yes. you never know. So, but this is our Christmas episode. Everybody's getting fat and getting a lot of presents and getting cold, depending on where you live. If you live in the South, I love you guys. I miss that part. But, like, I do not like being cold. But, like, Christmas traditions, everybody has, like, their own Christmas traditions. I read an article. There was, like, a, there was like a news report. This one woman, bless her heart, because, like, I can't do it. She gives her kids 100 presents every Christmas. So, wow. like, you see, like, her house with her tree There's with just no like need for that though. presents, like mountains. She has okay. three kids, 
And I think this is like in the UK. Okay. So, but like, it's the Christmas tradition that like her kids get a hundred presents every year. And each, just, e, is it each, each or, kid, oh, ooh, okay. each kid get a hundred presents. And like, honestly, I have, do not have the patience. Like, I do not have Does the she budget. Wrap up each crayon individually. To put in the <laughs> That's box. what I'm thinking. <laughs> Go to Dollar Tree, get little like 50 presents. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeah. But, but yeah, that's a good tradition for her to have. Yeah. Like, that's I what should, she wants to do. I did Let's see the, how long she does it, though. Yeah. 13. I did the advent calendar thing for my husband in like one of our Christmas. That was already hard to find 25 presents for him because he's a guy. That fits in the little, <laughs> yeah, I did the same thing for my husband last year, but they were like little boxes, but, of dip, but they're like this, like like that. Oh, yeah. And it's like, what, like a Hershey's Kiss would what fit I in think, there, like what, you know? What I did with mine, I have like the hanging one. Uh -huh. And what I did was like on some of them, there were like clues. Like, you know, go like here. Where, where, yeah, like where the, like, you know, like it'll be like, you know, oh, like kind of like, is? you know, you know, you know, I, you know, like, you know, um, what is that? What is that game? Like I see with my little eye, mm -hmm. you know, something oh, red and green yeah. and gold. Like, yeah, I spy that kind of thing. So like, it's like a clue. So like he has to find like those color combinations because like it's too big of a present and it's hidden there. So because like yes. it wouldn't fit in the little thing. So it's also like a fun, cause like my husband oh. loved puzzles cause he's an engineer. So, you know, that's what I did like on the thing. So like he has to find, it's almost like a scavenger hunt advent calendar. Fantastic. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. Super cool. That It'd be so fun. hard for me not to be snarky though. You know, like <laughs> I'd be like, what do you mean? I'd be like, this is a place you've never been and you can use it for hot or cold, but make sure you separate. <laughs> you know, he's a washing machine. Yeah. I mean, no, yeah. he he does want to, yeah. but I mean, I yeah. could, I would, I would just do that. I'm horrible. Yeah, yeah, I like that idea. <laughs> that is good though. But I it's did, also I like, like I said, it's like it was hard to find my husband 25 presents already. And this woman's doing a hundred. A hundred for each kids. Um, and then like I was talking to, um, another friend of mine. Um, their tradition is like they bake cookies. And they use them as ornaments, and then on Christmas Day they eat it. Oh! Mm -hmm. So they pick the cookies off of the Christmas tree, and I felt like, oh. And they have, edible, and they have children, huh? They have children. They have children. See, there'd well, be hot no ornaments. Yeah, that's something. That's something. You, you could, dunk, <laughs> and you know it's yeah. all fresh you, again. But there'd guys, be no ornaments, <laughs> like from as tall as they could reach. You know, like yeah. our the top of the tree would be yeah. decorated. No, yeah. they do they do like regular ornaments, but then they bake the ornaments like for the Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day oh, they Christmas eat Eve. the yeah. the Christmas ornaments. It's perfect. And I think like I yeah, mean as I like a kid, that. you make it and then I get to eat it the next day. Edible stuff. Yeah. I love it. Like I love it like there's a show now where like everything is cake. Which is like ridiculous. Right. Isn't it called like is it cake? Is it cake? Like, is like, it cake? Do you know I don't know. Half it the was time. like a couch, know, and it was cake, oh, right? Oh. And the toy. Did you see the toilets one? Yeah. They took the sledgehammer to the top of it. Oh, not cake, because it like shattered. Ah, oh, no, I didn't see that one. Yeah, it's like that's a, like as a kid also like if you tell them that like you know oh you want hot chocolate but you can also eat the crust, and they're like what? Because like um there's like a really popular dessert place in New York. They did the um. They were the first one to do the donut. Um, what is it? The donut. Uh, why can I talk right now? Like the French pastry. Oh. Croissant. The croissant, like okay. the cronuts. Mm -hmm. That okay. did like yeah. It's that it's that bakery in New York. They did like the cookie shots. Mm -hmm. So like you the the shots are made out of cookie dough. So it's cookies. So they, they put like milk. So you like you do a shot of milk and then you eat the shot glass. Oh, and, cool! And I thought that was like, like I said, like as a kid, that's, that's neat. like it'll be like, oh, do you want milk? Here's a mug of milk. Also, when you finish your milk, you can eat the mug. <laughs> and like you know, like the look on their face, is like, what do you mean? It's like it's edible. You can eat it. It's a cookie. You know, like how funny is that? I mean, I'm an adult and I think it's. I mean, I did it. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm already thinking like, okay, this is it. You need to watch Willy Wonka. I know. Like remember, like I, I just like, 
like the mm-hmm. idea of just like eating things like eating the plate and like, mm-hmm. the pork and spoons you know like i thought that would be like really really cute so like i think like it is really cool how like everybody has like different christmas traditions depending mm-hmm. on where you live the culture that you grew up with and like what like what about you guys like what are your like christmas traditions um well i really like the one that is um something you want something you need something to wear and something to read so each child gets four presents one of them being one they want and then it's it's kind of all the same and less less rivalry like Uh like we are a blended family as well Mm -hmm. so but I only had five and um that helped. I didn't stick to it a whole lot. I wish I could. I'm really jealous of my friends that could. But what I had to do, because I have sneaky little kids, is I would write different numbers on the packages so nobody would knew who was getting what. They didn't know their number. They didn't know anything. And we won't talk about the time that I, I forgot the code. Um, that was only the first time. It is Kevin, your home present. <laughs> right? It was yours. I got a mainly white right? White elephant, right? This is a white elephant gift. Yeah. Um, but then the youngest boy was like, why does the baby get nunchucks? So I'm like, oh, wait. No, the baby cannot have nunchucks. So I'm, I'm trying to move it as they're older to, hey, why don't we open on like Christmas Eve and like do all that kind of stuff and then sleep in the morning and just kind of chill and um my oldest who's in college and she, 22 and just what, what is not having it <laughs> maybe she will this year last year not having it so i'm trying to know i mean yeah. i think it's hard also because that's what she grew up with true you know that's, what i mean mm-hmm. it's like you you get attached to the tradition that you grew up with and mm-hmm. like like me and my husband we're gonna try to like blend our christmas traditions but it's, it's funny because, like, we're definitely, like, presents and, like, you know, five minutes of pure bliss. While, right. like, they're the kind of family of, like, you take your turns. And I'm just, like, why? You know, so, like, you're sitting here for like an see hour. It. I know. And, oh, but, yeah, there's yeah. a lot. And then, so like, so, like, my husband is just, like, well, that's not fair because your Christmas are what the kids want. So, like, my Christmas, they don't want it. So your turns, because we're doing like every other year, and it's like, when it's your turn, they want it. Because you're going <laughs> to let them open all their presents. I'm like, well, yeah. I want that five minutes of bliss. I want it. And it, it's, it's like five minutes. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. Yeah. But then, you know, it's uh, like our, our traditions, we do so many different things. Um, it's more food than anything mm-hmm. and games. Oh, we yeah. play a lot of Monopoly, and that's like our favorite thing to do is the Monopoly game until 2 o'clock in the morning. Bad. So fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty competitive. <laughs> so anyway, I mean, you know. Do not play Monopoly with Angie. Right, don't. <laughs> Dina, Angie can table oh, flip. Yeah, and then, and like after like an hour, after it gets too long, I started going, okay, I have, I have two railroads, you have two railroads, I need dishes done. Yeah. And you know, one of the kids be like, I'll do it. Yeah. No, that's good that when you're like but dealing. Right? I right. Know, so I give all my stuff away. Monopoly is too long for me. I just that's, can't. That's just it. I get yeah. Oh, you don't even know in our house it's lethal. I be, they will, I mean, it goes down to the very end and my husband and I are always the champions. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. I'm so, Uno champion. And I'm are you Uno? So are you Uno? I'm Uno champion. Yeah, see, Uno the, the, the game thing is so much fun for me. It is. Yeah. And then I will go play Fortnite with my grandsons, you know. Oh. I can't. Why? I can't get them to walk. I can't get them to shoot. I can't get them to do any of that Don't stuff. Don't think at all. Just pick up the controller and go. And it'll do just whatever. Just push random buttons. You just <laughs> That's how I learned. I just push random buttons, asked a lot of questions, and finally got it down. But you know, at Christmas time, they like it when I play with them. Mm-hmm. They do. Yeah. And then we'll go do the football thing. You know, we do a flag football now. That's our newest thing. Yeah. So yeah. it's just a big family. It's like expensive. So yeah, I mean, it, like 
<coughs> I mean, it's just me and my husband, and like we've we've decided last like about two to three years ago because we're running out of stuff to give to each other that we're actually <laughs> just gonna do like you said, it's just like um, activities, experiences. Mm -hmm. So experiences. So like we. Like, you know, that's, we delegate, like, our money mm -hmm. on, like, where we want to go or, like, future trips or even trips, like, around Christmas. So, like, for Christmas last year, I we went to see my family because it was my family's turn. So, we were there for three weeks. So, like, all of our money went to them. <laughs> hey, you know what, though? You make everything sound like even here in New Mexico, all the places... You make me so excited to hear about them because I've never can heard of these her things. Can we go to her house for Christmas? Yeah, let's go play it with her. Like, can we wake up at your house and, like, have our little chocolate yeah. cookie I know. stuff? It's just like, I really wanted to do, like, another Christmas thing at my house this year. Yeah. But it's just, yeah. like, so much work. So, like, next year, definitely, I'm going to have another Christmas party. Because, like, I did have one for last year, and it was really fun. But it's just, like, because, like, Halloween and Christmas... I feel like it's a lot for like two parties in like a year. For those people that do it, you guys are amazing. But the and, problem, and, and some people are gonna say you're skipping Thanksgiving. Well, you're there's that big fight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the I internet. Love, on I Facebook. love Thanksgiving, but like usually I end up like either going to my husband's family yeah. or like friends, or like if I do it, like I usually don't like I don't do Thanksgiving turkey every year anyway. So like this time we're gonna go hang out with our friend. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, and, you know, right. um, we have the buffet thing. It's not like a bit football. You know, we have the actual stuff. We have football and things like that. I'm thankful for a lot of other different reasons, and it's just mainly that we're alive, yeah. you know, and that we're doing well. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and I like the one that you said, like, you give them, like, you know, something they want, something they need. Oh, for cooking. Yeah. Something to wear, something, something to wear, something to, wear something, to something to read. I remember, like, I read an article. It's one of the, um, I don't know if it's Iceland, but it's one of those Norwegian countries. Mm. Like, for Christmas Eve, their tradition is giving children books. So, like, the children get books for Christmas Eve, and they read through the night. Oh, neat. Because, like, that's what, like, it's, like, that's their beautiful. tradition. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, for, like, because, like, for us... In my culture, our Christmas is completely different. And whenever I tell people, especially children, they're like, why is our Christmas not like that? So, like, for us, in at least in Manila, where I grew up in the Philippines, like, you, like, about a week before Christmas, you get new Christmas clothes. So you get to go shopping and get your Christmas outfit. And um, because we are a Catholic country, most people are baptized, most people are Catholic. So, like, when you get baptized, you get as many godmothers and godfathers that you can have. You don't have to have one. The idea is to, like, mm. coach as much as we can. So, on yeah, Christmas Day, odd. you and your siblings go to your godfathers and godmothers' houses, and they give you money, and they give your siblings money, and you do that all day. And then at the end of the day... You have to have 20 of those. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. And at the end of the day, like, you... Go to your like you go back to your house and usually like a lot of the houses in the Philippines are like multi multi generational, so like with us we usually go to my grandmother's house all of us, and that's when we do because we, we're such a big family the kids can only buy one present and the adults have one present we put it in a pile, and then you pick one from that pile obviously that wasn't the one that you put it, no cheating, and the thing is like all the stores in Christmas are open. So the malls wow. and everything are open. Mm -hmm. The kids can buy the gifts from the money that they got that whole day. Oh. So you go home with a pocket full of money, right? Mm -hmm. And then you get to like buy your own presents. Literally like 10-year-olds be like on the stores and be buying random dolls and stuff. That's pretty much us. Huh. I like that. It yeah. sounds fun. Yeah. So, and then, like, you know, like, you pretty much spend, like, the night, like, you know, doing, eating, like, eating a lot. But it's, like, Asian countries are like that. You just eat a lot. And then for, like, the whole December, you have carolers. Mm -hmm. I love carolers. So you oh, have, like, really? Yeah. So you have, like, random children, like, singing oh. in your door for, like, the whole Christmas that is month. sweet. And then now, because, like, the last time I was there, it's, like, it has, like, up the ante. People 
are actually like doing dance routines <laughs> that they practice all year round. Mm -hmm. So like you, like these are like not just children, but like teens and also adults where they bring their own little Bluetooth <laughs> speakers and they do a whole dance routine. It's like, it's like America's Got Talent. When I tell you. Oh, could you imagine the energy in there? I would love it. I'd be like, I can't, I can't dance. I'm like, I know, I but it's it. I love you watching You dance it, anyway. Though. Nobody watches. You just dance anyway. They're literally opening their door to watch you dance. Yeah. Yes. But you do have to give them either <laughs> money or candy or chocolate. So it does get a little I bit. I might dance for money. <laughs> not that way. Not that way. Not that way. <laughs> I'll dance for chocolate. <laughs> I'll dance for both. <laughs> okay. So, and now that we're talking about Christmas stuff. Okay. Okay. We have to put in a little bit of drama. Okay. Because you know. Okay, us. where's the tea? Okay. Yeah. So the tea. This is a very interesting because okay. my day ho mm. for not doing anything for Christmas this year and making my husband livid. So I'm a stay-at-home mom with three kids. My husband works full time and gets an okay salary, but he's tightened the grip on spending for the past four months to be able to save up to go to watch the football event overseas. He's literally obsessed with anything to do with football. He said he rarely ever gets to do what he wants, and so I didn't want to judge him since it's his money eventually. We discussed plans for Christmas, and he told me to handle everything since he won't be back till December 20th. He told me he had put aside money for Christmas decoration, food, gifts, kids, net needs, etc. The money in total was a hundred dollars. I was completely shocked. I told him a hundred dollars for an entire family's Christmas celebration was ridiculously not enough. He shrugged saying it's all he's got but I pointed out how he's paying for his friends and his girlfriend's travel <gasps> expenses. He oh, told me to just me. take it but I said that if he decided to leave me with just a hundred bucks then I won't be doing anything for Christmas. We had a lot of arguments and couldn't get this resolved. He's in Qatar now. He left days ago. Yesterday, while I was cleaning, I found an envelope with the same hundreds and a note from him telling me to make it work. I sent him a message that I've decided that I won't be doing anything for Christmas with this little money, period. He was livid. He just kept sending an angry message after another calling me spoiled and telling me to stop expecting to live like I was still living in my parents' house and to stop trying to rob the kids of enjoying the holidays like the other kids. I haven't replied, but he's mm. livid, saying I'm punishing him for going and trying to guilt him using his own money. Attack. Okay, well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um. Boy, that's a hard one because... It's very loaded. Right. I mean, a lot of people have a great Christmas with a lot less money. And the fact that she had kids, you know, I mean, like we were talking, there are stuff you can do. You can have cookie mm -hmm. baking. You can do... doesn't mean he has to be there for it. He did cho choose to go overseas no, and have said, it be no, about football. No, he and, was going to be back on December 20th. So he was but that's so much money to do that. That was his present, so what I would say. Yeah. But but I would still do, you know, yeah, a little fun stuff with the kids. I, I don't think she's an a-hole for that at all. But at the same time, you know, do a little something for the kids. Jeez. Yeah. I, I mean, it's everything is loaded. Like, but, this is one of those things where, like, the kids are definitely getting... They're getting the low end of the stick. Some people have 20 bucks they yeah. use for Christmas. Yeah. And, you know, you can use five to decorate from Goodwill or Dollar Tree and, yeah. you know, get some some comfort food. Yeah. That It's just really hard because, like, there's, like, also a lot of information missing, right? Mm -hmm. We have three kids. Right. Right? We don't know how old they are. Right. That you know, is a good one. I, I think it's so fair. For somebody to want to go do what they want, because like for me, I like to do what I want. Okay, I, yeah. I and there's times I want to go on a vacation, and if this man is working hard, and he feels like he needs this, I think that should be respected. Yeah. You know, and then her respecting her as well, 
if he's coming back on the 20th, there's still time yeah. for, well, the kids are off school at that point. Yeah. They've got three kids, right? Yeah. So the 20th is usually when it, the kids get off and they're on vacation. So I think he thought of everything to be, well. Well, I mean, no, you're not wrong. I do think it, that for her to refer to it as his money is a little wrong because who's taking care of the kids? Yeah. Who's babysitting them while he's gone? Not babysitting, who's taking care of them. Exactly. Like, like if it wasn't her, if she was not the mother, yeah. it would have to be a babysitter, right? He'd have mm -hmm. to pay for that. He'd have to. It's not just his money. It's her money, too. To That's her job. You know, she raises these kids. She doesn't say if she has another job or not. No, she doesn't. A lot of these. Mom. Okay. Well, this yeah, is, no, no. So, so I'm going to play like, I'm going to okay. play the devil's advocate. Okay. Here. So this is my thing. It's like if my husband told me that I get $100 for Christmas, but he decided to go to Europe and he paid for him, his friend, and his friend's girlfriend, I, I don't know. would go ballistic. I just get the damn credit card and go charge everything. Boom, Why boom, not take boom, the boom. family? <laughs> that's 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 my, the other thing. That's my make problem. It a, make it a how come you didn't invite everybody? For, no, but for this the is, family. This is my problem. It was a vacation for him, but not for her. He needed a vacation from the family, and that always irks me because like you cannot afford a family in the first place, right? <laughs> Because like listen like this is my thing. He okay, had to say funny. like the thing is like he saved it for four years, mm -hmm. right? Like if my husband said that to my face, I've been saving money for four years so I can get away on a vacation without you and the children because I deserve it because I'm working. Like best believe there will be a murder suicide and I will be alive and I will get away with it. Just to let you know. Okay, so I was way wrong in what I was saying, I guess. No, no, you're not. I, I think people totally need that, and it's totally valid. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the time of year, although I guess that's when, yeah. when like, ball games are played or whatever. But um, It's football talk, season. No, it's I football. Think, no, I, he said, like, but, overseas. I think they're talking about, like, football, football. Oh, like oh soccer? Okay. Football. Yeah. Okay. But even with that, it's just, like, and also, like, let's just say... He likes football, right? Mm -hmm. They don't have to bring the kids. They have family or like. Right. Why not bring your wife? You paid for somebody else's significant yeah, yeah, I see. other. That's a bad one, right there. At first, you I thought I mean? you meant his girlfriend. Oh, yeah, like, I thought oh, it was. That's his really girlfriend. bad. No, the audacity. That's why she said it's like, you giving me a hundred dollars, and you're gonna make me look like a bad guy to our kids because I'm gonna have to tell them that we don't have enough money to buy presents for you guys. And I don't know what kind of tradition they've been having with their kids. Yeah. Right. And no, I would I mean, like to know how yeah. long she's known he's been saving. He hmm. said, he said, she said that he's been saving for four years. But when did she find that now, out? Now, see, that would make me mad because that's not supposed to be like a secret kind of thing. You know? I don't think, like, I don't think it was a secret. But, like, that's the thing. It's just, like, it's not that I'm not telling my husband that he can't go on vacation. Mm -hmm. But it's like a slap in the face that, like, you're telling me that you're going on vacation. I don't care if that's your best friend. I don't care if that's your twin. I don't care if you guys are like even like so together. Okay, <laughs> but you don't pay for somebody else's significant other, and then you're gonna leave and me that, at home with our children. And it's probably because they couldn't afford to take the kids, which is fine. But he can afford to pay for his but right, and girlfriend. But right, right, right. But that's what I'm trying to say. It's like you're doing he this won. trip that you couldn't even afford in the first place. And then you're telling your wife, well, make it happen for $100. It's not that you can't. Right. But like I'm trying to say, too, it's just like he's also making it look like the bad guy because she's the one decorating, doing preparations for Christmas till December 20th. The kids doesn't know anything about it. And you that's not I mean? work? And that's not, you know, working hard? Yeah. Doing, like, yeah. kids 24-7? But like I said, too, it's just like I don't know what kind of traditions they have. Let's just pretend she has three kids, right? Okay. And they're like one, three, and four years old. Mm -hmm. At least one of those kids have had a tradition for four years. True. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then Christmas Day comes, they have like a $5 type gift for each one of them because you have to buy food, you have to do decorations right. or whatever. And then what is he going to say? Well, your mom was in charge of Christmas. Mm -hmm. 
What a freaking slap in the face. I don't think that that age would really care mm. what they got or even if they yeah. opened presents. I mean, yeah. I've wrapped kind of snacks for my three and four year olds before. But you know what? Maybe he needed to save for five years. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But like I said, it's like, I don't <sighs> like the girlfriend, best friend, him going. I mean, it just right. doesn't sound right. Isn't that like un? Are we sure he didn't have somebody with him there or meeting someone there? Because it just it doesn't been, look no, this, right. No, but this is my thing. Is like I would even excuse this if it was him and his best friend. Mm -hmm. I get it. You know what I mean? Like I have girls strip all the time. Mm -hmm. But why are you paying for someone's significant other and you're living you're leaving your significant other in a budget? Because he said they're, he's paying for their expenses, hotels, yeah. food. You know what I mean? When you say expenses, that means like they're going to go out to eat, they're going to drink. It's a football game. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. And then you're going to give me $100 as a family? Like, I'm just like, you know what? Now you have a new family. You guys have fun. You know what I mean? Have fun with your football. Don't even come Hope back. Hope they give you presents. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't like en enjoy wherever you're going because your best friend and. His girlfriend are now your new family. Okay, yeah. and then for devil's advocate again, what if their children, well, if she's a stay-at-home mom, then they wouldn't be in college. Because I'm like, if they were in college, but see, then that's even more of a thing for him to bring them. But to, even if, yeah, so, let's, so let's just pretend all the kids are in college. She's literally, he's literally by living her by herself. Okay, see that, that, that doesn't have enough sound good either. Mm -hmm. Like, like if you don't have responsibility at home, you know you should be invited with everyone. Yeah, but like I said, it's like he could either invite her, or they could have done like a family vacation, mm -hmm. or you could have gone with your friend. That's fine. He saved money, intending that he was gonna bring other people, but not his family. That's and how what much is bothering me? How much did he pay for the friend's girlfriend? Because that's money his family could have had. Mm -hmm. To decorate mm -hmm. and for food. But that's what mm -hmm. I'm trying to say. Like, why is right. he paying for somebody else's significant other? Right. Then it'd be a lot more than just a hundred bucks. Uh-huh. And, so. I mean. Well, let us know what, what do you guys think of this situation? Because it's definitely a heated discussion. It right. is. It got us heated. Like, you know. And, yeah, yeah. with that um, email, go ahead and send us your own. Yeah. Am I If you have a little a bit of tea of your own, please let, let, us, let us discuss <laughs> it. And, yes. you know, we are we'll all, let yeah. you know we're exactly all on, what we think. We're all on all the social media. And, you know, if you're any local business or any business you wanted to promote or you want to sponsor or you want to be on the show and, you know, let us know about your products or your services, you know, please come on and, you know, let New Mexico see what you guys have. But for us, this is, this is the end of the episode and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.